CPAP machines, such as this machine, are known to provide high pressure, positive breathing assistance for the users. They're available in the United States. There are about 8 million of them in the market right now and are quite widely used. One problem with using a CPAP as a breathing assistance in the case of the Kona, the virus, is that the device spews out um, uh, particulates um, around the mask. So there are many holes and apertures through which um, uh, the uh, patient's uh, viral load may actually be emitted from the, the, the mask. We're trying to develop an emergency ventilating system based on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. So here we have a standard um, Philips, actually, um, mask. And this just goes over and over your face like this. I'll just set the camera here for a moment see if this... Um, let's see. Okay. Let me get this thing to stand up like that. So this is a standard Philips mask. And what happens is you simply put this over your face. And it makes a nice seal. And then you attach the magnetic strips, the magnetic catches. And then this device is let me get it over. Now what we have here is a fully trap system where I'm getting respiratory support which can include supplemental oxygen should we desire. So this is the system and its uh, parts are made out of a swim noodle and a t-shirt and a water jug and a standard CPAP. 